Hello there, and uh, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd give you a quick, uh, well, quick tour of the uh, RGB RAM, the Trident Z RGB RAM from G Skill. Um, this particular RAM, in fact, I'm not going to take it out because it's a pain in the ass to get it back in. Get a little badge. Uh, the speed of this is, I believe, it's 36. Yeah. Uh, not the well, I don't fully understand timings if I'm honest about it, but not the best timings from what I've read. It is Ryzen compatible. It's a 3600 speed, I believe. That's what the Ryzen uh, third gen uh, likes in terms of in terms of the optimization, as far as I understand. Because uh, my current rig's only got 3000 in it, so. And I think the old rig's going to be maybe reduced down to maybe a streaming machine, I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, um, we'll see if I can get it out, it's a, it's a bitch to get it back to us. So, you've got your heat spreader, obviously your RGB is there, so that lights up and stuff. If the camera will focus, apparently it won't. But basically that's it, yeah, it's uh, £113 this was on Amazon. Uh, which isn't bad. I would have gone with the Corsair RAM, but that was £123 for the same speed. Uh, so there's that, yeah. So system is nearly there. As I said in previous video, a couple of minor components to sort through and get. Um, and one big one, which being the processor itself. And then I'm ready to rumble, really. Um, on the odd sad bit of news, I'm unfortunate to say I won't be doing any more gameplay videos for a while unless it's PC based, based on the fact that uh, my Agata device decided to die um, on me. As you can see, I've stripped it down, I've had a look at it, I don't know the first thing about um, circuitry and all that kind of stuff, but uh, when I was trying to record Streets of Rage, uh, I was going to do a video due to that. The, the fourth one is supposed to be out sooner than later, hopefully. I believe between now and early next year. Q1. But yeah, so it's... Um, I've had a look at it. I can't see any damage on it at all. Um, but it cuts out after about seven or so minutes of footage. The, the whole thing just cuts out. And I don't know why it keeps... And then it, the signal will come back. So I don't know if I've got a loose connection or something. But so I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but... I think probably in December I'm just going to buy a um, HD Gato 60 or 60S, one of the one of those ones because um, this thing's been well, it's been awesome while well, it worked. Uh, so that sucks, but I've had it since 2013, so it, it is quite old, really, I suppose. But things aren't built to last anymore, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm going to leave that, and uh, yeah, so. And it was being recorded on the uh, 360.